China and Hong Kong. Friends, it's Serena from the Falco family where at home school is life and having a teachable spirit is our number one goal. Um, this morning, y'all, it's the snow day. I didn't even realize it was supposed to snow again. The weather has been so crazy, um, but it's definitely a ton of snow outside right now. The kids are finishing up breakfast before we get started for the day. I know friend has on a decent amount of makeup today. I've been playing around with some things and um, I think I did too much this morning, especially considering I'm not going anywhere because <laughs> it's straight up a ton of snow outside. Um, I do have to film today because I'm doing an unboxing, and I can say this now because you would have seen that video by now, but I'm doing an unboxing of the Good and the Beautiful's new musical multiplication program. I'm really excited about that. They asked me to be a part of the launch, and I was really excited about it because it was the perfect move for Savannah in her little math journey, So, and it is still um, math boot camp. It will be for a while. Um, so it is the perfect next step for Savannah. Um, I was planning on doing that all anyway, and when she contacted me about starting, um, about launching the new musical multiplication, I was like, yes, <laughs> this is right up our alley. Um, so I received the package um, maybe a day ago or two days ago. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing and talk about that and um, that video, so I have to film that a little bit later. But because I am doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start the musical multiplication with Savannah today. So um, today is writing day, so they're gonna be writing. Um, what else did I wanna say? Yeah, I'll just bring you along, I guess. I feel a little odd being all super made up. You guys, I'm not normally like this. <laughs> Just wait till the next video and I'll have no makeup on whatsoever. Anyway, I think I did a really good job. And I'm using like a different um, uh, skincare regimen. Um, I'm trying out new things and I think it is working really well. It'll probably be off by half of the day because, well, Cameron actually really doesn't like that I wear makeup. <laughs> But my husband does, so he wins. Thousand times already, and you didn't get it. I don't want to see your upside down head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see your upside down head. Is there what I upside down and my chin looks like so on my face? It's strange. What it's do you want? Like John Dragonfly. Okay, it's writing day, so we're going through all of their writing. Writing day. We're going through the writing, trying to sort some things out. They're missing stories, so they think mommy took them, but I didn't. Um, over here is their records from last year that I definitely haven't completely organized like normal, but I think his records, <laughs> I mean his story is in here. So I was gonna do a separate video about how we do records, especially since I haven't, um, gone through and organized last year's records properly so I might as well let me know if you're interested in seeing that I'll probably share that information um, in detail with my patron fam but um, eventually I will make a video so he's looking for his John the Dragonfly story which is in here I'm sure to hold that so I found one more rolled doll book that Kendall can read um, Matilda we had rolled doll I think he's a great storyteller but he does have some interesting language inside of his books like he tends to um, you know point out ugly features or 
Wait, there's more than or, just one story. Or, you know, obese this. characters and things. It's just, mm. and <laughs> but he's a great storyteller. Yeah. It's just some These are different books. interesting things from they time to time. So, um, I've actually never read Matilda. I've only seen the movie. And maybe it was read to me when I was younger. I'm not sure. But I don't remember reading it myself. Mm -hmm. But Look, there are different books. BFG, Boys, Tales of Childhood, Charles and Chocolate Vector. So what I do like is, so this is Matilda, and I think Kendall's going to move along with, he's going to stick to his author. Um, so I may go and pick up BFG for him, because that's another one he would be interested in reading. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm choosing to stick with him, even though I have some small issues, it's good to kind of, he's doing like an author study basically. Um, and so we'll talk a bit more about, you know, some of the similarities or differences he's found in the different writing. Um, so I'm going to stick with him. Roll doll. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that the next one we should do, do you want, um, I am thinking, why not? Are you judging a book by its cover? I totally judge a book by its cover. <laughs> No? Uh -uh. Okay, so we will hold off on that one. What about this one? Maybe. See, this is our issue. We get into these deep-seated conversations and then we're off of our schedule. The rhinoceros beetle can lift something that's up to 100 times its weight. And you don't want to think about what the dung beetle is pulling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God can pack a lot of power and strength into tiny little packages. In fact, he packs an unbelievable amount of power and strength inside of you. to pass out morning tokens for making your bed, brushing your teeth, washing your face. Doing washing my face! <laughs> <laughs> so this is our morning token time. Two tokens for getting dressed, two tokens for making their bed, two tokens for brushing their teeth. Ben is working on subtraction. Cameron's getting in a little bit of word problems. Kim is working on a little decoding. I got it, Savannah. It's eight and six, because eight minus six is two. <laughs> Next is seven minus five. I brought my math counters out again, just in case she needs them. I can pick any one, really. I can pick bugs or Mama, bees or like, whichever makes, ones I have. What makes? Wait. So you have three. Okay. Okay. So three. Take away two. Equals. One. Good. So. Three and one. Good job. Go, girl. She's a math witch. Okay, let's take a dance break. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Celebration. <laughs> okay. So, we found this app the other day. We used to really like quick math, but... But they did not update with the um, Apple update, which is really sad because we really like that app. But um, I found another app that makes it easy for us to practice um, our multiplication and our math brain situation. So I'll show you the app that we found. Math Brain Booster. Okay, so first up is Savannah. She's gonna be doing our memory verse. You got it, girl. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them through faith and patience. And here with the promises, Hebrew 6 through 12. Excellent, girl. Hebrews. High five. <laughs> Hebrews. Hebrews. <laughs> now we're gonna go over our board. 
We know that 70%, the 70% water. of our earth is water. water, which leaves 30% of our earth being land. land. Excellent job. Let's see if we can remember our, um, our water cycle song. Cycle oh, song. Okay. <laughs> Accumulation, evaporation, conjunction. <laughs> so you guys, we make up a lot of songs. It helps us to remember things, and this is our water cycle song. Don't judge us, okay? <laughs> it works. It never leaves. It never leaves. <laughs> What the? Our ecosystem. Yay, we did it, Cam. We're missing you. I'm calling you. Okay, do not laugh at me for our song. We make songs all the time, right? Yeah. Condensation. Except for one thing, I can't snap while I'm singing. That's one thing. You can snap while you're singing. Anyway, that's our water cycle song, you guys. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so now that we're moving past our um, unit study, let's do our read aloud. So we are moving on to this read aloud, the lifters. This is gonna be day one of the lifters. Let's see how long it takes. I think it's around 2.30, you guys. And we started school around... No, 10, we some, 10, 10. Almost 11. Yeah, we started school around 11, and it's around 2.35-ish. So, we're going to get this in now, and then um, they're going to move on to writing. Writing is not normally last in our day, but today, because they were really looking forward to it, I'll just go ahead and let them do that. So, um, after we finish our read aloud, they're going to move on to writing. Then they'll get a little bit of quiet reading time, and then we'll be done. So I'm already in love with this book because I love when we open up books and we end up talking about artists. So that's like one of our favorite things to do is talk about Me art and, and artists. Me and the artist and Cameron. And Kendall. What? Mm-hmm. So, um, so far what we know. Glenn's, um, Glenn's mom is in a wheelchair and, um. Yeah. And he has a sister. Right. Named, named. Maisie. Maybe. I think that's how you say it. Macy. Okay. And Maybe. what does he like to do? Maybe. What does he use? Clay. <gasps> yes. Okay. So he's using clay to make what? Um, Art. Animals. Yeah. Mostly animals. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us on this school day. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Talk to me in the comments. Leave any of your questions below. Consider joining our patron and I will see you in our next video. You guys want to say bye? Bye. 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 <laughs> it never leaves. It never leaves. Our ecosystem. Precipitation. Precipitation. Accumulation. Accumulation. Evaporation. Evaporation. Condensation. Condensation. <laughs>